Hey everybody, Texas Stroke here, Lance's Performance Shop at LoneStarMopars.com. If this is a familiar sight, it is for good reason. You probably saw us open this up in tool hall number four, or you might have seen it in one of the previous tool halls, or the standalone video where we took a look at KC Tools screwdriver stand. Now, they offered this in two variations. You have a 25 hole and a 50 hole, this obviously being the 50 hole unit. What they have done though, uh, here I guess sometime in November, sometime like Halloween to Thanksgiving era, if I remember correctly, they came up with an addition to their screwdriver stand. Now, you can get this when you buy a new one like I did, or you can get it as an add-on. Whatever you want to do, it will come back separately. Uh, this is part number 8301, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's going to run $39 standard. Again, this was Black Friday, Cyber Monday, so knock some money off of that. The magnetics are going to be 8309. That's the part number, not the price. Price standard is 1099. Again, I would have gotten a little off of that with the Cyber Monday sale. So these are going to work in conjunction with both the 50 piece, or 50 hole, I should say, stand and the 25 hole. It's pretty simple in practice, but it's also very cool. So essentially, what we're going to have is when we assemble this, this gap right here between our base plate and the leg, which it would be drilled on this side, right? That is where we're going to install the magnets. Now the magnets are apparently super, super strong. And I know that from uh, their Instagram videos. It was almost like they were daring people to try it. And uh, I, I don't know, man, uh, it's only $11. That's still kind of a lot of money, right? I could think of better things to do than purchase something I just destroyed through my own uh, negligence or curiosity. But, uh, these, when I pull them out here, you're going to see a couple of things. Number one, we've got our hardware there, right? And uh, we'll pick that up later. We've got our included L key, which was this, let me see. Yeah, it's a Viha. It is their 3180. No, no, no. 2935. It's going to be the part number. Can't remember the size. We'll check it out. We'll use some of our fancy uh, Vera hex keys, I guess. But these are supposedly super strong rare earth magnets, and that's why they are in this plastic tubing, right? It's kind of like surgical grade tubing, I guess. Uh, probably is because it's ALP4 fluid. I'm reading on their vinyl flex, right? So. They did this because the bond between these is absurd. And you can kind of see that as I pulled it apart. And what they claimed is if they didn't ship them in this protective vinyl, it would be a scenario where they could attract so quickly that they could actually fracture. That sounds like a great video, but again, if you note, I don't even have ads on my channel because Susan, the CEO of YouTube, took those away from me earlier in the year because of some kid in California. Uh, but that's another story <laughs> in and of itself. But I would love to experiment with that, but like I said, I don't want to have to purchase another set and then I would be sad because I couldn't do cool stuff with my stands, right? So, be very careful. My advice to idiot-proof this for yourself further, assemble it one side at a time. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to get started on this. I'm also going to grab some more Gatorade, uh, two, three-week-old Gatorade here sitting on the workbench because uh, I'm losing my voice. So I'm going to chug some of that and get this thing rolling, and uh, we will take a look at how cool it is just sandwiching these magnets in and what options it gives you. You know what? I want to point something out. It is a 3 millimeter hex key, number one. Uh, we'll bust some of these bad boys out here in a second. But check it out. We got our included hex key and the uh, screws here from our magnet kit. When I went to open this to start assembling it off camera, Hex key and screws. Obviously the shorter screws you're going to want to just delete. Uh, so if you already have a stand, the magnets are going to come with the correct length fastener. If you are getting a stand without the magnets, you use what's included. If you're getting a stand and the magnets, you get free hardware, right? And I guess their logic on that is they don't know if you already have six screwdriver stands, uh, what you're going to do with it, so it's a nice gesture, particularly to get the L key with each one, but uh, nonetheless, I might time lapse some of this, I don't know, but uh, we'll open this up, get it assembled, and take it from there.
All right, so there it is. Once again, I exercised extreme caution. I kept one magnet in the sleeve while I installed or assembled the other side. Once that one was in place, open it up, put it on the other end. But as you can see here, we've got a Klein cushion grip on this side. Uh, and how is that possible? It's not in one of the slots. It's the magnet, man. So right there, you'd see it in the slot. Again, this is something that's advertised for precision tools, precision screwdrivers, if you will. In my opinion, it's great uh, for anything around four inches or smaller. And the catch is, I would love to see these legs actually be just a little bit longer so you get maybe a six inch shaft screwdriver in there. That would be really, really nice. Now, you could come in and uh, egg out these holes, you know, kind of change it up a little bit. And you could put, you know, say our seven piece nut driver set in here with some other items. It's kind of the sky is the limit. Here's that pesky stud from the nut driver set. I got it there. I uh, stuck this uh, Vera, even with this plastic sleeve, that magnet's strong enough to hold it in place there. Case in point, pretty, it actually pulled it down. So uh, that's good. The included Weeha one uh, is right there. Uh, where is my wrench that I had? Right here. So this is standard old Craftsman 7 16 swanky is it not uh, let me go ahead and spin this around so you can get a better look at the magnetic side at first glance you wouldn't even think it was anything you just think that was like a washer or maybe had felt on it or something crazy like that right but you can see the business and it's just that thin strip that's where our magnet is and case in point check it out here's my wrench and it doesn't just like stay there like a weaker magnet would it's so strong it like pulls it in I say that and then it doesn't, but I think it's because it's how it was positioned. <laughs> but uh, here again, this is a uh, one of our fancy Vera hex keys. Boom, here's a little Viha one that was included. Here's our stud again. That'll go on right there. What else do we want to decorate with? Uh, is the feeler gauge, are those magnetic? Oh yeah, I mean, we got everything going on here, man. So our little hand clamp. Uh, which several of you told me that they uh, you can get these readily available like at Harbor Freight and they're all kind of the same. I will keep that in mind, uh, but this one's pretty cool. <laughs> at least we've got that going for it, right? That'll clamp on. Now, obviously, if you're using, if you're the type of person that's going to purchase a screwdriver stand, I don't think you're just going to throw junk on the side, but let's say that you do a lot of work with high-end electronics, right? Or you build computers, uh, LED lights, I don't know, whatever you're doing with a lot of precision screwdrivers, let's say you fill that up. And that's primarily what you use. We're talking like zero, zero, you know, tiny, tiny stuff, right? But what? let's say that your other common thing is a number two screwdriver, and let's say that you only use it in panels or something where you need a six inch or an eight inch length shaft, right? Boom. It's, it's kind of the sky's limit, and again, if you come in and treat it like this, how our little Viha oriented itself, that's where you could get by with a really long screwdriver. So you'd have all your precision stuff, maybe even, you know, like your standard 4-inch stuff, because that does clear. Let me grab this one. This is the longest shaft I've got handy. 200 millimeter, right there on our micro finish, right? So... Picture this being organized on your bench. You got all your precision and small stuff. This will not fit. I mean, technically it would, but, you know, it's not cool. It's not practical. Check this out. All of a sudden, you can't see that, but you can now. All of a sudden, that ridiculous screwdriver that doesn't fit there, or you don't have a slot for, but you need this. You need a number two with an eight-inch shaft. Check it out. That's not going to be too out of the realm for anyone with a workbench or a workstation that they couldn't get by with that. The front side would be no issue. Unless you keep that against the wall or something solid, you just simply reposition your stand. Uh, it's a fantastic option in my opinion. And uh, kind of as simple as it is, just some tiny little magnets going side to side there. It is a real game changer. Now, the reason I went ahead and picked up a new stand is I love them. And I might wind up modifying this one. I'm not 100% sure. I do seriously, though, wish that they would include some longer legs. I believe these were what length? Let me double check for you. They're roughly four inches, we'll call it, right? Because that... Magnet's really strong. So we'll say it's a four inch leg. 
If we could get this in a six inch leg, I would buy another one of these. Now, obviously you could make one. Uh, I don't readily deal in aluminum plate, but I guess I could bring some in. I would just have a whole lot of scrap, which would be the unfortunate part. Or I could make my own stands, I guess. But uh, the other thing I would do if you had a taller one, I would probably recess the screws. I mentioned that in the previous video, just because I think it would look more trick, right? Uh, and you got plenty of meat here on the top plate. So, But this is a fantastic piece. They machine them in-house. Very simple, yet extremely practical. Uh, the length of this is going to be 5 inches so that little tiny magnet it's roughly five inches in length uh, what thickness do we want to assign to it I would say let me see maybe like an eighth of an inch right so we'll say it's 0.125 right I don't have a mic here handy but basically five inches long an eighth inch thick and it will take this eight inch micro finish screwdriver and we can do that and that is a very strong hold in fact let me position this where if it does fall, it won't crush anything important. Yeah. I've left the building, ladies and gentlemen. That is pretty crazy. This is my spare hand, if you're curious, right here. Keep it on the screen for you. I'll even put it under it. That's how confident I am. You know that guy, uh, the dude that would stand under the Auric vacuum cleaner with the bowling ball? We're, we're reliving that, but with KC Tools magnets and the screwdriver stands. If you were curious how strong the magnets are, I think that's a pretty good example, right? Uh, let's spice it up. Oh, it's very strong. I'm going to take my Klein and my Viha, right? We're going to split them, okay? This is just kind of more comfort for me, right? I'll try to position that in the middle. Effortless. This is really cool. Uh, so these are ridiculous ridiculously strong magnets. Now, if you, let's say, had a speed driver in here and you needed the socket, boom, keep it on the side, because obviously the socket isn't going to fit here unless you came in and put nuts on the bottom, you know, with studs coming through, which is a totally a good idea, now that I think about it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's amazing how fun magnets are. It's just one of those things. How, however old you get, it's, it's never really out of style. Um... Don't know if this will work because of the sci-fi crazy grips on these fancy Philo NWS pliers. Look, once again, you know, it's not magic, it's just magnets. And uh, that is pretty, you know, I guess these do a pretty good job. They're so thick on the handle side, but once you get to the business end, look at that. That's pretty cool. Now, obviously, if you turn it like that, you got your screwdriver set up here and you need like some needle nose pliers, boom, on the side. These grips are so thick, that's kind of a limiting factor. Uh, let's see here, these are the code blues, which I use these so much. I tell you. Oh yeah, yeah man, that is, you're going to town with this thing. I love it. But once again, this thing is amazing. For the price point, what you're getting is fantastic. My only advice to Casey Tool, have an option maybe for a six or eight inch leg. Sounds crazy, I think they'd be surprised how many they'd sell. Maybe recess the fasteners, it's not a huge deal. I just think it would personally look better, kind of provide for the sleek uh, effect they were kind of going for. If you have one of these, whether it's 50 hole, whether it's 25 hole, it does not matter because you can come in and with KCT 8309, their magnet add-ons, you can easily adapt this. Again, it's going to come with new hardware. You get another 3 millimeter hex key in case you lost the one that you had. Uh, you put that in place, <clears throat> you're set up, man. This is fantastic. Uh, the added options here, and again, just something like an 8 inch blade, boom, minimal profile. You can pick the thing up with it. They're very, very strong magnets. Again, I would take their advice and be cautious if you do go this route. They're not going to the <clears throat> added step of shipping the magnets in this vinyl tubing if it wasn't necessary. So keep that in mind by all means. <clears throat> but once again, I'm kind of losing my voice here. I need to chug some of that ancient Gatorade again. In fact, I think I'm going to have to do it now. And I apologize once more about my voice cutting that on me, but uh, this thing is pretty awesome. Taking the good product we already had with their standard screwdriver stand, adding on the magnets, which sounds dorky, uh, but is very exciting. It has a lot of practicality to the tool. And for 1099, 
I don't think you can go wrong with it. Uh, let me know if you have a screwdriver stand and you were unaware about these magnets. Is that something you are going to now pick up? Uh, is it something you're going to wait until you have to, you know, bring in something else and just kind of make that an add-on item? If you don't have the stand, would I recommend that you get the magnets? Yes. For the money, I don't know why you would pass up on it. Obviously, some people may not have a use for it. I think everyone else is kind of one of those cool factor things, and for an extra $11, I don't think you can go wrong with it. <laughs> so, I like it so much, that's why I said, you know, I picked up the other set for our existing stand. We'll get that installed here pretty soon. But uh, I'm happy. I'm content with this. Let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, make sure you are subscribed if you enjoy the content. If you did leave a like, we would sincerely appreciate your support. Uh, most importantly, if you have ideas, if you have feedback on this stuff, let us know. Last but not least, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, circle us on Google+. I think I'm going to have to call it a night. I'm almost out of my ancient Arctic Blitz Gatorade here that's keeping me somewhat able to voice this. But it's uh, a fantastic setup. I uh, really like what they did there. And something else that I was kind of kind of getting into is my idea to have a stud come up through that. Uh, that would open up some new options on the top end might be worth doing. Maybe dedicate like two rows in the back to it or something type of a thing. But uh, hey, who knows, maybe we'll be modding one of these fairly soon. With that said, thanks so much for watching. I will quit rambling once more. My apologies on my voice cutting out. Hey, like I said, you're never too old to have fun with magnets. So I will leave it at that and I will catch you back here for more action from the shop.